Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet a simple granny square, which is what you see here in front of you. Now the granny square is one of those timeless classic pieces. People just love granny to make granny squares. And uh, if it's one of your favorite things to make, I'd invite you to, in the comments, just tell uh, our viewers why. Why do you love to make the granny square? I think uh, some of the reasons that we will hear are that um, they work up quickly, they're pretty, they can be done in a variety of colors, and there's literally hundreds and hundreds of different variations when it comes to a granny square. So today I am going to pass on to you uh, the way that I was taught uh, how to make a very simple granny square and um, to do that I'm going to be using a six millimeter crochet hook along with a worsted weight yarn and this is called ZZ Twist by Lion Brand Yarns and that's the one I'm going to use today and uh, yeah we're going to work up just a simple simple granny square over the next few weeks we will look at some different types of granny squares as well so you can keep checking back every Sunday and uh, I will share with you uh, other granny squares and different methods of, uh, of working it. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel while you're here and I look forward uh, to sharing this timeless classic with you. So today for my granny square I'm going to be using uh, this gray yarn but again you can use any color that you would like for your square. Next week we are going to look at how to make a two or three or four a multi multi-colored granny square. Today we're just going to be working with one color and working in one direction. As I said there are many many ways of making a granny square so this is uh, just the way that I was taught which I'd like to pass on to you. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by making our slip knot and a granny square is worked in a round. So we are going to make Start by making a chain of five chains. Next, we're going to join in the first chain to make a loop. So simply go to your first chain, insert your hook and yarn over, drawing up a loop and then draw it through that loop on your hook and it will join those two ends together so you'll now have a, uh, a center loop, okay? Next, you're going to chain three. Now our chain three is going to count as a double crochet in this granny square. Next, we're going to, as you see uh, in this one here, that the granny square is made up of these little um, clusters of double crochet stitches and each of my clusters has three double crochet stitches so we're going to start on our first round of these. Our chain three counts as a double crochet stitch so for this cluster of double crochet stitches we're going to make two more. So yarn over, insert your hook into the center of your loop, yarn over and draw up a loop. You'll have three on your hook, yarn over and draw through two loops, yarn over and draw through two more. That's your double crochet. You're going to make one more for this cluster of three. Once you have three double crochet stitches, you're going to chain two. For each of my corners, I, uh, I make a chain two space. Next, you're going to make another cluster of three stitches three double crochet stitches. So yarn over, you're always inserting your hook through the center of your ring. There's one double crochet, two double crochet stitches, and three double crochet stitches. That's my second group. Chain two for your corner stitch and work your next set. There's one double crochet, always working into that center ring. There's two, and 
and 3. We need to have a total of 4 corners, so we're going to chain 2 again. Work our next set of 3 double crochet stitches. three and then we need our final corner space so I'm going to chain two and then join with a slip stitch in the third chain of that starting chain three so count up one two three this is my third chain I'm going to insert my hook into that chain and work a, a, a slip stitch so now I have my four sets of three double crochet stitches and I have four corner spaces. Now I want to uh, move up to my second round and I don't want to cut my yarn. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert my hook in the top of the next double crochet stitch and I'm going to work a slip stitch in that one then into the next one, work a slip stitch in the next double crochet, and then to bring myself into that corner space, work one more slip stitch into that corner space. We are now set to start round two. For round two, you are going to start by working another chain three. So chain one, two, and three, and this counts as our first double crochet stitch. You next, you want to make uh, complete that set of three double crochet stitches. So you're going to work two more double crochets into your chain two space. Now work a corner space, so chain two, and then into that same space, that same chain two space down below, work another set of three double crochet stitches. This is going to form our corners again for this second round. So if you take a look there, you have two sets of three with your corner space in the middle there. Next, we're going to jump over to, the, to our next corner. In our granny square, we're always, well most of the time, working into our spaces in between your sets of three, in between your clusters of three stitches. So we want to jump over to the next space. Some people like to chain one and then work your three double crochets into that chain two space. I simply uh, work my three double crochets. I don't chain one in between, but you're welcome to if you would like. So I'm simply going to, in that next chain two space, work three double crochet stitches. Work a corner space, so chain two, followed by three more double crochet stitches. Anytime you work into this chain two space, that is going to be your pattern. Three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. I'm going to jump over to my next corner, work three double crochet, chain two, three double crochet. I've now worked three corners. There's one corner left over here. Jump over to it, three double crochet. Chain two and three double crochet. I am back now at the beginning of my round two. I'm going to simply insert my hook into the third chain of my starting chain three and slip stitch. Once 
Once again, I want to work over to my corner chain two. So I'm going to slip stitch in the top of the next stitch, slip stitch into the top of the next double crochet, and slip stitch into my chain two space. And I'm now ready to start round three. For round three, you're going to see that it's worked nearly the same as round two. I'm going to start by chaining three, work two more double crochet stitches, then chain two, and two more double crochet stitches, or sorry, three more double crochet stitches. And now uh, you will see that there are two sets of three double crochet down below. So it's too far to simply jump over to the next corner space. Instead, in between these two sets of three double crochet, you're going to want to work another set. Okay, so I'm going to uh, simply skip over the first, the next three double crochet stitches, and then into this space in between the, the next set and the set after, I'm going to work my three double crochets. Now if you had decided to work a chain one there in between your clusters, then there will be a chain one. So just like so, and you, you would work into that chain space. Now I am able to move over to my next corner. In your next corner, work your three double crochet chain two, and three double crochet. You're then going to repeat that all the way around your square. So skip the next three double crochet stitches, and then in between that third one and the fourth one, in between those two clusters, you're going to work three double crochet stitches, Then skip the next three, and then work your three double crochet, chain two, three double crochets into your corner. So continue that all the way around, and uh, meet me back here. I'm now at the end of my third round, so I'm going to join with a slip stitch into the top of my chain three. Now at this point, you can slip stitch over to your corner stitch again and continue enlarging your square by working more and more rounds, remembering uh, in each, uh, each side, you're going to be adding an extra set of three double crochet stitches. So you'll remember that you're going to work your three double crochets into, your, um, into the spaces in between the sets. Okay, so each round uh, on each side, you will work one extra one. So you're increasing it by one each time. Now for mine, I decided after the three rounds that I was simply going to fasten off my work and I've forgotten a pair of scissors, so I won't do that right now, but uh, fasten off my work and then uh, weave in each of my ends and then eventually when I'm ready, when I have as many squares as I would like, I will uh, eventually join them together. Again, you can keep making them bigger and bigger, uh, make them whatever size you want and next week we will look at adding more color to our squares. So thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial on how to make a simple granny square. I look forward to seeing you again next week. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you soon. Happy crocheting. Bye.